perfect. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Observant Lyman. And wow, we have breaking news. And for everybody who's wondering, old Uche missed his flight and had to reschedule for tomorrow. The busiest day of the travel or the busiest travel day of the year in Atlanta. It was absolute hell. So I busted that U-turn, rescheduled that flight, and I'm going to head out early in the a.m. But what we have here is breaking news. Police activity at the home of former Jaguars linebacker Telvin Smith as Jackson, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office toes Escalade. Now, this has been a developing news story, but apparently there is something big going on at Telvin Smith's house. Now, for those of you who don't know, Telvin Smith is a linebacker from the Jaguars who uh, infamously said that he would take a year off from football in order to rest his body uh, and handle other affairs in his life. And apparently, he has been handling some very, very uh, green affairs, if you will. Uh, it says here, a heavy police presence was seen on Wednesday at, the, at a home owned by former Florida State and Jacksonville Jaguars linebacker Telvin Smith and a black Cadillac Escalade that Matt Smith was towed. News footage shot from two TV news helicopters. Wow, they had helicopters floating around. Uh, for Action News and News 4 Jax, uh, showed Jacksonville Sheriff's Office uh, cruisers and an evidence van at Smith's home in Queens Harbor. I know that, I know that area well. A gated community located about five miles from the Atlantic Ocean on the city's south side. Smith was not seen on the footage. JSO has yet to respond to a request from the Times from the Florida Times Union for a comment or or incident report. A recent speeding ticket issued to Smith matched the Escalade. This is some pretty big news, but this is what news uh, WJXT4 Jacksonville News News 4 Jax uh, apparently uh, uploaded pictures of a search warrant that was served by JSO Narcotic Team, Narcotics Team 3 and the DEA, the DEA, holy crap, shut down an illegal marijuana grow house. 50.3 pounds of processed marijuana, 261 live plants, and $5,700 seized. Uh, yeah, that appears to be what is going on in Telvin Smith's home. Not really sure. I mean, we don't know exactly if the, if he was there. We don't know if this is something that uh, necessarily involves uh, him directly. It is his house. Does he live in the house? We don't know. Uh, they said, I believe they said one of his homes or a, a home owned by uh, Telvin Smith. But it doesn't look good right now. But uh, we will withhold actually, you know, judging and saying whether it was something that had to uh, do directly with him or not uh, until we know more details, obviously. But uh, this is a pretty shocking news uh, coming out of Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County, a uh, place where I spent my career as a Jacksonville Jaguar offensive lineman. And uh, this is definitely a first for me in that regard, seeing something like this. But uh, it appears, and let's just look some more at this article. Uh, it says the Times Union obtained public records in Valdosta, Georgia, Smith's hometown, in which uh, mediator Terman Smith and the mother of two of his children had reached an impasse over custody and child support. In a separate child support case, Smith was scheduled for a contempt hearing next week. There is no indication that those legal proceedings are related to the police showing up at Smith's home. Earlier this year, before the NFL season started, Smith ab abruptly retired. Uh, surprising the Jaguars and fans when he announced on Instagram that he was not going to play in the 2019 season so he could spend time with his family and focus on his health. So we see a little bit of the story coming together there. Uh, it's not clear what the sheriff's office was doing at Smith's home. Uh, Times Union, the Florida Times Union has requested incident reports filed in Smith's neighborhood on the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office website that lists calls for service uh, it said it went to the street where Smith's home was located at 5.02 p.m. Uh, for a suspicious person call. Okay. Suspicious person call turns into the DEA and uh, crime scene investigators showing up at your house. Uh, let's see here. 
Smith initially filed the case against one of his mother's children, seeking physical custody of the two, two of his children, but the case turned against him after he began representing himself. Ooh, he didn't show up in court, and according to the court records, he stopped paying child support. Uh-oh. So, we have a little bit of information there that's important. Uh, doesn't mean that it really, that that's why he, you know, this situation has turned into what it is now, but uh, that is an important detail to keep in mind. Says here on August 29th, a, Lown a Lowndes County judge said if Smith failed to pay 10,500 in child support and 8,500 in attorney fees by September 26th, 26, then Smith should be arrested. The judge said Smith could not visit his children. Okay, so we have clearly have a family dispute going on here. Um, so, you know, as to the details of those, that's, you know, obviously not necessarily for us to know, but this is public record. Hmm, said Times Union partner First Coast News reported that Smith posted earlier in the day and on his now private Instagram account, I got caught back up in trying to make stuff happen according to expectations that people hold to me. Tell you tripping, don't worry, I've shaken it off. I remember I don't know the things I want, so first I must learn and then act. Love y'all, continue to support and watch. I'm not putting a time on it, but the documentary will be coming. Woo, that's a little cryptic, right? It's a little cryptic. Seems like there might be a little bit more to the story than, than, than meets the eye, but uh, definitely a cryptic message. Even says so here, Smith has posted cryptic messages before on social media. Um, hmm, the team, and it says here, earlier on Wednesday, during a rare news conference at TIA Bank Field, Jaguars Senior Vice President Tom Coughlin said he had not been in contact with Smith. So really, uh, just uh, the tip of the iceberg here. We're not really sure exactly what is going on, but uh, it appears that uh, somebody has been trying to, you know, find a way to maybe keep their funds up. Uh, maybe shouldn't have taken that year off. Uh, but, you know, clearly this is a situation that we will uh, continue to watch. It's going to continue to develop. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I will likely be out of town, hopefully, in the morning. And uh, I will uh, keep you up to date as I hear anything new. But tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Hit the like button and subscribe to The Observant Lyman. Appreciate everybody checking out this video. Telvin Smith, uh, something big is going on right now with him and his uh, life. So let's wait and see how this plays out. Uh, but I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.